Hi, this is Passy's World of ICT, and today we're having a look at Wondershare. The product involved this time is the Wondershare Flash Gallery Factory Deluxe. So let's start it up. Alright, the Flash Factory Gallery Deluxe is used for when you want to make a slideshow of your photos. Now, you can use gallery modes, and in gallery mode what happens is you have um, on the template lots of different ways of arranging your gallery and then playing through it. So uh, maybe something like this one, cube, and then when you press play you can uh, use the controls here to rotate around the cube and see your different pictures. Alright, we're not a big fan of actually using it in the gallery mode. Alright, we do most of our things here in slideshow mode, so we're going to start up slideshow mode and that'll bring a one to share in the initial screen. Now what we like to do when we're doing a slideshow is this. Here are our pictures and we Photoshop them, as you can see, crop them to different sizes and what we're doing is adding on um, captions and we've already got them in order. So this is the order pretty much of our story. We went on a trip on a ferry boat to a friend's farm basically. Now if we have a look in film strip we can just go through those pictures, get an idea of how the slideshow is going to be, and you can have your background music that you're planning to use playing as well, and just get all these guys in order. Alright, so we do that first. Uh, what else we do is, uh, on certain scene changes, we've made our own kind of title slide using some nice um, fonts out of uh, Adobe Fireworks. So we sort of set all this stuff up first, um, like here we go, here's another transition into some garden pictures and then we have pictures of the children and so we've already set all that up along with um, kind of like our ending slide and things like that so it's good to have all that set up first is the way we find um, to work but you can crop photos and do titles and all sorts of things in Wondershare alright so let's get started the first tab we're on is browse and what we need to do here is we need to um, go to where our pictures are. But what we can actually do is double click down here, so we'll double click there, and we'll navigate from here so that as well as getting set up pointing at our folder, we'll also be able to bring in like the actual pictures that we want to use. So we'll just use this little guy up here to go to thumbnails, and uh, let's have a look. So there are all our thumbnails there. So if we get on our first one and press control A that will bring them all in. We know there were some we were just using to build things at the end which we don't need so we'll just take a few of those out uh, and we don't need that one um, yeah so I think that's right so if we say open what will happen is Wondershare will put all of those into our um, slideshow there for us. Now of course what you can do is if you decide you know you want to reorder pictures you can move them around uh, but we like to sort of have them pretty much in order already in our folder because for the reason that um, sometimes things are a bit tricky to move plus you have to sometimes if you want to drag one right back to the start it can be a long way all right now that's it pretty much they're set up but you can edit and crop these pictures if we double click a picture we can uh, go into crop and you can also have filters and effects if you want to uh, we can do a manual crop and say we wanted to crop that picture down so it's only like that we could save it so you can do all of your cropping and sort of image adjustments brightness and contrast um, alright so let's say on this one we wanted to do some uh, brightness and contrast okay we can do those sort of things here as well so uh, we already did all that stuff in Photoshop but it's kind of cool that you can do your whole project if you wanted to within the Wondershare um, Flash Factory Deluxe alright so we've got our photos in there let's go to template now now with templates there's lots of different designs you can choose because our one's kind of a farm type thing I'm going to try an outdoors one like let's say field yeah that's kind of okay and this gives us a preview up in here of what our slideshow will look like um, but there's one here actually called farm 
and this one's kind of cute because we got a little tractor there that's uh, buzzing along and here's a preview of what our slideshow will look like notice down the bottom here that Wondershare has already put in some transitions for us now a lot of the time these transitions are sort of too busy and not the mood that I'd like to have for our particular slideshow so what I tend to do is uh, you can right click on this transition and just say delete all transition effects okay so we're going to do that but I might just let the slideshow play through for a minute because sometimes another thing we've found is that when you've cropped your own photos to a lot of different sizes Wondershare will kind of um, position them uh, not the way you'd like them in the boxes that come up in the slideshow but it seems to be okay on those ones at the moment. Well let's delete all transition effects um, yes we will delete those alright so now we need to, uh, now we've got our template and our slideshow happening, we don't really want to do much more. Although just to let you know there are themes for Easter and Christmas and weddings and you can also actually go to custom and click customize template and build your own kind of background uh, with your own image and sort of little clip art characters and things as well. Uh, Alright, so now we're moving on to effects. So the effects we want in between our slides. Now we tend to like um, these effects, just the fade effects. So I'm just going to uh, double click to add that in. That's now down in the timeline. We go to our next s picture. It doesn't kind of highlight this in yellow, which is a bit annoying. And we sort of put in a, uh, another kind of just fade effect there. Uh, go to our next one. It kind of only becomes active after you've put the effect in. Now, if you didn't like that one, what you can do is you can just click on another one and try that one out. All right, so we might pause at this stage, and we're going to go through and just put a few more effects in, and then we'll uh, come back and go to the next section. All right, next we want to show you something uh, which happens when your photos are different sizes like our ones and you use these kind of expander type um, uh, transitions or effects it doesn't happen with these fade ones that's why we like using them but if we use some of these others let's watch what happens we'll skip effect and public and these and decorate steps we'll go straight to publish now and this is where you create your SWF movie so we'll click create SWF movie um, and I'm just going to call this uh, Let's see, we'll give it a name. Flash test one. And I'll just publish it. So the thing is you can do this anytime you like during your movie just to see how it's going. So and you can see it renders it really quickly, so it's not a hassle. So let's go and have a look at how things are going here in our movie. Alright, so that's gonna be how it opens up. One to share plans all that for us. Okay, so there's our opening slide. That's looking good. Now see there how it repositioned the picture of um, the boy's head and put it into the corner. All right. Now the next one was using a fade-in effect. Our picture comes out fine. But with our next one, have a look here. See, it's kind of moved that picture down. We've got a, a ugly black bar up the top of that picture. And you'll find this is what happens on, on some of the transitions for some reason when you're using a lot of different size pictures, which I like to do to maintain interest in the show. Uh, you get this problem. So how do you solve this problem? Right, back into Wondershare. Go back to the template. Now, since we've done a bit of work here, what we should do is we should do a save. So up here in the right-hand corner, we just go File, Save As, and we'll re-navigate out of our documents because we've got something set up here separately. Uh, so we'll just put in Wondershare Experiments, and we're just going to call this... Um, call it slideshow 22 and say OK. Alright, so every time when you're working I always just like to save regularly. Alright, this settings tab up here, uh, there's a default size. We tend to use that default size. Um, there's a play control whether you want your thing to auto play, to loop automatically after it's finished or to display a replay button. Uh, you can put your own logo on and the preloader here you can change the style of that to um, different sorts of styles. Uh, okay, so maybe like professional, so we'll say okay on that. 